Hello my friends, today I want to talk to you about something that is not often discussed in the RAV and handpan world, and that is playing your instrument in a different scale than what the sort of root scale is. This is done really simply just by avoiding notes. And as many of you know, especially people who have multiple instruments, all of these scales, especially the minor scales, are just different iterations of uh, that scale with certain notes extracted from them. So in theory, on the curd scale, you can play the mystic, you can play curd, obviously, and you can also play Celtic. So you can sculpt your playing around avoiding these particular notes and completely change the feeling of what you're producing from them. So let's look at the three different scales you can play on the curd and how you can apply them and I'll give you a little example for each of them. So let's take a look. So as I mentioned, we have multiple ways of creating scales using the curd. The first one we can play, obviously, is the classic curd scale. We all know that. And just by avoiding the note in the second position, this note right here, we can play it as a Celtic. Same exact scale as Celtic. If we avoid the three and the seven, it becomes the mystic scale. difficult, but what you could do if you were just starting to explore this option for creating new scales, you could simply put uh, a magnet over them if you wanted to block out particular notes, and then you'd have an easier time remembering what notes to not strike. Um, they sell sheet magnets at craft stores. I've used them in videos talking about using them as percussion instruments as well, but that would be a simple way of knowing, oh, I don't play these notes. All right, so let's look at the same piece played on all three of those scales. So in this case, I'm gonna use the bottom three root notes as my chordal movement, so you can get a flavor for what each of them sounds like. So here's the curd. our curd scale. Next up we have the B Celtic scale avoiding the second position. Because it doesn't have the half step in it, you have a completely different flavor. You don't have the tension of this half step. And the last example is the mystic scale. And again, this is just omitting the three and the seven. because we're not giving the resolution to the scale that we normally would with this three and seven. All right, so here's a little exercise you can do to get comfortable with each of those scales. So obviously the curd scale, walking straight up. If we're using the Celtic scale, we can practice that by walking up Center, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and repeating the process going back down. And our 
practice for the mystic can also be like this. Center, one, two, four, five, six, nine, eight, six, five, four, three. All right, so I'm going to give you one more quick example using uh, a tune played on all of these. Again, first is going to be curd. Celtic. So as a result of avoiding these particular notes, it completely changes what root notes you have access to to f kind of move your progression in a different path. So if I'm playing something in the mystic style, I've limited my root notes to the one, two, and four. And because of that, it forces you to innovate and think of new things. And oftentimes when players are stuck on an instrument, they feel like they've exhausted all opportunities. This is a way of breaking free from that stuck place. Um, it's, it kind of is like getting a new scale in a sense, because a lot of the scales are just iterations of major or minor scales. So this gives you an opportunity to approach the instrument in a brand new way and allows you to create something new on an instrument that you felt like you were familiar with. If you found this useful, let me know. And if you have ideas for other videos, you know, or you'd like to see other alternate scale ideas on any of the RAVs or any hand pens, let me know. Thanks guys, hope you had a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. And also support my new album, Wild Spaces, uh, and that's going to be available in November, but you can win a hand pen, you can win a baby hand pen, and you can win a RAV fast. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.